Morning folks, Kevin, Word in Vapor here yet again. And this morning I've got a little thing to show you. It's called the VCM2. It's a mechanical mod. This isn't mine, it's on loan. So watch this, I'll be back with you in a sec. Here's the box, nothing in it, I'm afraid to say, well, it's not, <laughs> I'm not afraid to say, I just didn't see the point of putting it back in there again. But, uh, yeah, on the box there you got uh, VC Tech Switch, v VCM2, yeah, um, on the side there you've got, if I can show you that, you've got Vapors Cloud for Facebook, and you've got VaporsCloud.com. On the back there, turn it around the right way, Kev, You've got various warnings, etc., which I think is is great. As a, this car, this is a cardboard box, so it makes it brilliant for uh, uh, recycling. And you know, you guys know how I feel about recycling. Here's the mod. You get that in there. You get a 510 with a floating pin. Very good. It works. It's brilliant. You also get. I'll put that to one side. You also get uh, one of these little key jobbies, and I'll show you what that's for in a minute. You get a hybrid cap as well as you get the uh, the 510 floater. You unscrews like that, and that's where your battery goes down in there. You get one of these uh, plastic. I think it's pl no, it's not plastic. It is like a, an aluminium uh, sleeve that goes over the top there. And as you can see, this is a copper mod and i think having the uh sleeve over the top helps to protect the uh the, the copper from fingerprints and all that lot i know it is it is a total fingerprint magnet <laughs> total fingerprint magnet but that well there you go i mean a bit of a buff up every so often and clean it properly with some brasso etc that works fine it's great right on the bottom there you've got uh, uh vapors cloud insignia on the fire switch yeah you've got battery vents all the way around which is good incidentally coming back to this uh, uh, hybrid cap on the top of the hybrid cap you've got cutouts for those people that use RDAs etc the draw pair flow from the bottom of the uh, uh, the atomizer you've also got some more venting there that's fair enough and on this one you've got exactly the same setup there inside there you've got a copper contact pin with an insulator there. You've also got your your airflow, uh, not airflow, what am I talking about? Airflow, look, I'm, I'm obsessed with airflow today. <laughs> Battery vent. Oh, so down the bottom here you've got your serial number. This one is uh, 1005. This isn't mine, as I said. I'm borrowing this from a buddy of mine, so there you go. Right. And I thank him for it because it was uh, it's uh, um, something that uh, I haven't got. <laughs> Not that I've got many mechs anyway. Right, um, how you get your your switch out is like so. And if we look down in there, you can see part way down you've got threads. And I recommend on this that every so often uh, you take these apart and you give your threads a jolly good old clean it helps to maintain them there are no rough spots on them they are smooth like butter or butter <laughs> um the the switch is quite good it's 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 the throw on it is not too bad although you can alter the throw um if you were uh, if you so wish but uh, i haven't and i'm not going to either because uh, my mate he got it set up the way that he wants it set up inside the uh, the switch you've got two magnets I'm not taking this apart because every time I take this take things like this apart I have a bug of a job trying to get them back together again with my hands the way that they are I suffer with arthritis so you've got two magnets in there the uh, the actual contact point there is made of beryllium uh, it's a sta it's a, uh, a, a a silver plated beryllium which is fair enough good contact sticks out quite a way you've got uh, an insulator there which again that can come out obviously i think i showed you that just now yeah it's the uh, vapor cloud insignia etc 
Right, well, let's put this back together again, shall we? Yes, Kevin, get it round the right way this time. <laughs> I recorded the whole segment earlier on and thought, this isn't going in right. Then I realised it. Uh, I was trying to put it in that end, not that end. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, well, now, generally what I do is um, I'll leave it stuck out a little bit like that to start with. Then I'll get me battery. Um, and what I do is put it in so it's minus down yeah put me uh, hybrid cat back on to oh no no you don't Kevin you put your sleeve on first <laughs> honestly I'll tell you I'm, I don't know where I'm do what I'm doing this morning I really don't put your hybrid cat back on top like so and then turn it back up because if you listen to that you've got a bit of battery rattle there so what we'll do is we'll turn that down so that uh, and what I do is I do it, generally do it no it still hasn't done it so what we'll do is carry on pulling it down until you've got no battery rattle it also makes the throw slightly uh, slightly shorter which is easier for me on here you've got the uh, the cutouts on this sleeve actually for uh, 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 VCM now I would have thought that they would have cut out a two on there but uh, there you go on the uh, on the sleeve as you can see you've got uh, uh, places for the the, uh, the battery vents so that's how it looks with the hybrid cap on let me show you I have to unwind that again just slightly take that off of there and put the floating that needs tightening down again right. there you go no battery rattle as you can see the 510 cap is a lot thicker than uh, than the hybrid oh, I'll put the hybrid alongside yeah I mean that's fair enough I mean I, li I like the 510 on there actually um, but for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to put the hybrid back on no battery rattle that's good and it, it, it looks a lot I think it looks a lot better on there now I haven't got a proper um, goon or anything like that so what I've, I've got a brass goon here I'll stick that on there and that's what I've been playing with it actually before putting that back on what you really should do <laughs> oh this is crap this is uh <laughs> screw your tank onto your hybrid first yeah it shows i'm so used to 510s oh pick it up without knocking the sleeve off put that on there like so now you can see that that sleeve doesn't quite match up there now so what we do is pull that open just a little bit come on and tighten the hybrid down again there we go that's it and there she is all back together again now this thing actually measures let me get my rule out there we go. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to take this back off of here again now. Uh, put that there. Right. So, it needs to come down a bit. There you go. The whole mod measures around about 91, 91.5 millimetres. So, I mean, that's fair enough, isn't it? And it is a 24 millimeter uh, device. So, what we got, what we'll do there is put that on there like that just to show. There we go. Actually, it's 23, as near as damn it, 23.998. So, well, I mean, that's fair enough, isn't it? And of course, this goon here is uh, is 24. So I mean, that sits on there, okay. I mean, anyway, I don't think that looks too bad. It's uh, yeah, it's not exactly matchy matchy, but uh, uh, there you go. Let's uh, let's go back up top and talk a bit more about this thing, shall we? 
We've been talking about this VCM2 from uh, Vapors Clouds. Or Vapors Cloud? Yeah, it's Vapors Cloud. <laughs> I quite like it, actually. I think it's quite a, a dinky little thing. I don't recommend this for noobs. Or um, if you're going to... Off if you want to go down the route of uh, of Max, then get yourself some experience with Ohm's Law, battery safety, yeah, before you even think about this type of device. Uh, you're better off with a, a regulated device until until you get a bit of bit of experience in building and and, and whatnot, and knowing what the amps are and etc. But that that's that's that. I'm not going to start preaching to the choir, etc. <laughs> so anyway, let's give this a bit of a toot, shall we? Oh, I'll tell you what. This thing it hits like a freight train. It really does. The vapor that I get from it is thick. It's more flavour than I do uh, with this goon sitting on top of a, a, a regulated box. But there you go. I mean, perhaps that's just me. I don't know. There you go. Anyway, look. I said I was going to show you that uh, that five ten with a floater on there. Let's uh, let's just take off this hybrid cap. I've noticed actually with this, if uh, if you haven't got that button done up properly, the sleeve moves on it, which is a pain in the ass. Anyway, let's put the goon back on top there. There we go. Give that a bit of a a, a toot away, shall we? Wonderful. Yeah, now I prefer to have the uh, 510 with the floater on there for the simple rough loading pin on there for, for the simple reason, safety aspect. But I actually do like having the uh, hybrid cap. I don't know where I am this morning, honestly. Right, let's just remove that. I'm going to put that back to all the way that I add it. There we go. <laughs> Now my bloody airflow is uh, is played up. Right. Whoa! Absolutely bloody magic. It really is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Right. Okay. Well, there isn't much more that I can say about this. I, I can't, I mean, I, I, it is basically all it is, is a copper tube with a jacket, a switch, the hybrid, or the 510. Nothing to it, not really. But you are getting the full force of that battery in there. And I've got a Sony VTC5 in there, by the way, before somebody asks. Not a Sony VTC4. <laughs> anyway. This is Kevin, digging his way out of the cloud. Uh, word in vapour. You stay safe, guys, especially with this type of device. Stay safe. Thanks very much for listening to my warblings on this morning, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now. Let's toot you out. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles.